Hey friends, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about the full moon in Sag, Sagittarius, June 14th um, of 2022. Um, this will be general about the full moon in Sag, so if you happen to find this, I don't know, next year when, when it's happening again, um, still perfectly relevant. Um, just one thing before we begin, I noticed that the last video I posted had like way more views than any of my other videos. So if that's you, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe or share or, or drop a like um, so that more people can enjoy these videos. Um, and you know that saying where it's like, I don't do this for my health. I do do this for my health. So I guess I wouldn't be totally upset if you didn't do those things. But if you want to support me, you want to support the channel, uh, you want me to keep making these videos, if you feel like you're getting some good information, then that's how you can support. So let's go. I have this Moonology deck that I really love because it has all the moon phases in it, um, as well as it's heavily astrologically based. This is the full moon in Sag card, and this is what we're talking about. It's it's saying, look at the bigger picture. Now, Sag rules the ninth house of like adventure, journeying, knowledge, the pursuit of wisdom. And so, yeah, Sag is all about sort of like this, what I imagine is like this expansive sort of thinking. It's about growth. Um... The energy I want to focus on this week, um, the week of this full, full moon, um, is sort of reminding me of the energy of the sun card of the tarot. Um, even though Sag is ruled by Jupiter, and not the sun, the sun card in the tarot reminds me of that kind of focus that maybe will be helpful this week. It's the... the um, the sun is the card usually just, that's just like has this child on it and it's like very happy. It's a very positive card. It's like happiness, joy, the culmination, the feeling of culmination. That's like, aha, is that focus? That's the sun. I think of like the beam of the sun becoming focused and it like becomes very hot. And um, now I'm just thinking about popcorn, sort of like popping you know that's how the sag comes in or like pops um that this has not been part of my notes we're ta we're on a tangent now so we'll get back to it but that's just to say you know okay fine let's follow the popcorn thing because popcorn comes out of this little kernel and then it, like it explodes under focused heat and you're like oh my gosh this tasty kernel has been inside of this hard seed this whole time it's this is the kind of revelation happening with this full moon it's about being open to possibility open to things moving growing changing um but if you did watch the uh, weekly energy video you'll know it's about openness and generosity and not commitment Let's go ahead and pull some cards while I'm, while I'm still talking. Um, since Sag is the ninth house of journey, learning, adventure, anything that stifles that this week, you can let it go or just wait it out. Um, going back to the focusing, focus on what you want. And release everything else. I did have to take a nice deep breath. We have to take time to breathe out. And the new moon Scorpio following us this month all throughout. Work through your fears. Take time to breathe out. And time to give rather than take. So we have Virgo, Scorpio, and the disseminating moon. Disseminating moon is the energy that comes right after the full moon. So... Yeah, you know, you could spend this full moon doing activities that focus on how your expression adds to other people's learning. For example, if you want to be useful, it's saying a time to give rather than take, and Virgo is the sign of service. All right, I had to go let my cat out because he really wanted to go do other things. Um... You know, Virgo can also get caught up in the details, and I would actually say to not do that because 
Um, Sag is so, hmm? Virgo's like in the spreadsheets. So I would say that to not do that, don't get caught up in the details. A book that I'm reading right now, actually on film directing, is it is saying to build the scene. The nail needs to look like a nail. The nail does not need to look like a house. The house will look like the house if the nail looks like the nail. To me, that means don't make any small thing more than it is. Um, you know, this week another theme could be like logic versus intuition. We might, you know, one of those paths forward, one of those paths in learning through logic or intuition, right? If, 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 if this is about understanding, Sagittarius could be about understanding, one of those paths will lead us to through, through to a simpler route. And I feel like that's what it's wanting us to do. Be of service, keep it simple, breathe and work through your fears. That's what's sort of showing up in this moonology. What card, what deck do I wanna use now? You know, we're gonna use this deck that I never use cause it's sometimes an interesting shuffle, but I've learned to deal with awkward decks and shuffling. But we are gonna have to just prep this a little bit. Um, what's another message for this week? Could be um, this idea of generosity and openness versus commitment, you know, and not committing yet. It's about being open to possibilities. And I talk about possibilities a lot on this channel because pos possibilities are also linked to this focus of the sun, the sun card. Um, there's a child on the sun card, which you know, most times a child like refers to like futurity or just the, you know, the future, the, fu the future of humanity, the future of us children represent the future. Seeing possibilities is a way into the future. So this is the full moon Sag energy. This is what's, what's been asked, being asked of us right now to work with this energy how can you, what can you do, um, everything, anything in your life, <laughs> what's, what's the simplest way to see more possibilities? Don't get caught up in the details. Don't worry if it's not refined. Just share and express. And I know that sometimes is very difficult because we're worried about how we appear, how we sound. But now's the time just to lay it all out and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna do a cross spread um, and hopefully target anybody who really, really needs a message right now on this full moon. We have the two of pentacles. Interesting. Um, I believe this card is associated with uh, Capricorn, but also the Two of Pentacles. This could be for anybody right now who feels like they've got a lot on their plate and they don't really know how to um, juggle what's going on in their life. This is a card of somebody who needs to prioritize something. Four of Wands, a commitment, growth, the cornerstone, celebration. This is very positive energy. It's been showing up a lot, a lot, a lot. And the Empress is the challenge. Okay, what does it mean for the Empress to be the challenge? I feel like this is, with, with the Scorpio card showing up on the table that says, work through your fears, and the Empress being about beauty, the archetype beauty, seeing the beautiful things in life. I feel like your challenge is to look uh, beyond the mundane into what it is you truly do feel like celebrating in your life and, and create some beauty around that. This is about, um, you know, the Empress is fertility. So think about richness. Where's the rich, where's the richness in your life? And how is the mundane taking away from, how is dealing with the details of everyday life taking away from the richness that is here available for you? Cause it is available for you. This is the opportunity. 
The Four of Wands can be seen as like the happy home. This is always also a marriage card for some. But there's, a, there's a, clearly a challenge. Empress is Venus, Libra, Taurus. Let's keep going. The Fool. Am I holding these upside down? Yep. Or I just shuffled them. I like to keep these all upright. I know that sometimes it's good to do um, the reversals. I'm keeping it simple this time. There's three of wands, that's sort of Sag energy. I'll talk through these in a sec, and the world. Okay, so this is all leading to somewhere really good for this person or group of people, collective, that resonate with this sort of intro. What you want is a new beginning. We have the full and the world showing up in the same spread. That's the end and the beginning, or the beginning and the end. There's also the tower and the star. So that's telling me that right now there is a, a challenge, there's, there's definitely something happening in your life right now that's causing these challenges and um, some difficulties in seeing something um, for being beautiful. You know, the, the Empress is the challenge. Some challenges are hindering our ability to see what's good here in front of us. The outcome I see as the star in the world, I, feel, I see that paradigm changing and shifting the world is the kind of change that we don't ever go back to. It's a par total paradigm shift. So I feel like with a little help from your friends, right? The environment of growth, I believe this is Sag energy. Don't quote me because I'm guessing. And I don't have a way to look it up right now. With a little help from your friends, there's, there's change and growth and expansion, inspiration, right? You're hoping that your inspiration will carry you to this new beginning. And this is an important, um, an important card to get in this position of hopes and fears because we do have to read it in the opposite direction. If it is upside down, that means, you know, this is the element of fire. Sag is fire. Fire is inspiration. If there's anything we don't feel inspired to do, let it go. I feel like that's, that's a big message for this week for this month period you know you got to just kind of follow where your heart will take you and you know sometimes being honest with ourselves means being honest about when we've allowed our ideas of success our ideas of what we want for our life based on what we see around us or what's in other people's life as our own it's like we're, put, we're, we're wearing other people's clothes, maybe. Um, and just being honest about, is that really what you want? Um, you know, in the upright, I feel like the hope is that there is this renewal of inspiration, this renewal of energy. Whatever is happening now is happening for a good reason, because what I'm seeing here in the past position is the Four of Pentacles, this is the card normally associated with, well, first of all, the body, right? This is how we take care of our body. The Empress is also Taurus, the body. So there's something here about the body, and I feel like um, whatever is being blown up right now is actually, I think, forcing you to look at what's wrong and or what's been holding you back from this new beginning. Let's not forget we have the star card as well here. And the star card literally follows the tower. Um, I don't see the... Um, I don't see the, the page of swords here, but the page of swords is the character that deals with the tower. Um, we have the moon showing up. This was my card this morning that I pulled for myself. The moon. This is the feeling, okay? We're almost in cancer season. It's worth saying. The full moon is a full moon reading. The moon is associated with cancer. So we're, I said this already in the weekly energy videos that are out already for the month of June, but this is going to be a time of intense feeling. So everything that wants to come to the surface, just let it. Um, it wants to be released. 
So don't worry, again, the, that message about don't worry too much about how it comes out. It doesn't have to be refined. Don't worry about the details of the thing. Just release it and move on. Release it and see what happens. I see a very positive sort of omen for a new beginning. The world. From the place of the world is where we can glean wisdom of, from the past and possibilities into the future. Possibilities again. Oh boy. And there's a lot of major arcana cards on this. There's the Empress, the Star, the Tower, the Fool, the Moon, the World. Um, what do I want to know more about? Maybe show me... The three of, you're showing up as the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So it's almost like it's saying, enjoy your life a little more. Like, get out and spend some time with friends. Don't, don't, don't be all about responsibilities. Um, there is mention of in this week about doing some travel or doing some, having some sort of cultural experience, something that gets you out of your own head or just out of your own day-to-day -day living. That's what The Fool is about. The Fool is not just a leap of faith, as it's called. The Fool is the soul of the tarot. It reminds me a lot of the energy that, that comes with the phenomena of travel. When we're traveling or in places unknown, we don't have the same constrictions of our day-to-day -day life. We don't eat breakfast at the same time each day. We definitely don't eat the same things each day. We don't see the same things each day. And there's nobody telling us what to do. This is freedom. This is what the full moon sag is about, is finding sort of that emotional freedom for expression. Um, this can be about revelations um, and awareness of scale, right? Logic versus intuition and the culmination of thought. It's like, aha, what's been here all along? This is like the aha, this, eight, this ace of wands. This could be like a, aha, what's been here all along, or aha, this is what I need to get rid of. This is what's been lacking and, and seeing a, a way forward. Super positive read. I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want these videos to be too long. Um, if you know anyone who could use this message, share it with them. Um, thanks for watching the videos. The last, like, the last one got over a hundred some views. I don't know what happened. I didn't do anything differently. It's pure magic. So, um, help me grow the channel by, yeah, sharing the video, giving it a subscribe, a like, drop a comment. If, um, not if, drop a comment that states which message resonated for you and how. How is it? How is it manifesting in your life? I want to know more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.